Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, my plan is to roll through energy level 3 and energy level 4 and find the electron configuration for those elements. And just to blast through a few examples, hopefully in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so my goal is to be out of here in 10 minutes, and I want to get through energy levels 3 and energy levels 4. So let's get into it. Please, please feel free. Uh, excuse me. Please feel free at any point in time to press the pause button and try to do some examples. So I'll announce the element that we're doing. Press pause, do the example, and then see my answers. All right. So the first example we're going to work on is the first element in the periodic table on the third row going across, and that's going to be sodium. So let's identify the element we're working on right now. We're going to be working on sodium. So I want to calculate the electron configuration of sodium. Sodium is element number 11, so 11 also tells me there's electron, 11 electrons that I need to find a home for. Okay, so as you saw in the last video, if you happen to watch that, helium, we're just going to move helium over here, and we're going to make this the home for helium for today's exercise. So where are those 11 electrons going to be located? Well, we got to fill up the first energy levels, the ones that are closest to the nucleus first, before we put them on the outer edges. So let's start filling up the first energy level. So we're going to start filling up the first energy level. All right, in the first energy level, the orbitals that are located there are going to be the s orbital. s orbital is the only place you can put an electron in the first energy level. So sodium has 11 electrons. The first two electrons go in the first energy level, the s orbital, and it can hold one, two electrons. So that's going to be a 1s2. Okay, the first energy level is filled. The next place to put an electron is going to be the second energy level. One, two. The second energy level. The first place you can put an electron in the second energy level is going to be the second, uh, the s orbital as well. And that s orbital can hold two electrons. That's going to be a 2s2. All right, the next place you can put an electron in the second energy level is going to be the p orbital. The p orbital can hold six electrons. Let's fill it all up. Great. The p orbital is now filled up. That's going to be a, a 2 P6. And lastly, I need to place my 11th electron. The only place I can do that is now going to be the third energy level in the s orbital. And you guessed it, I am one deep in the s orbital, 3s1. So sodium's electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, I'm sorry, 3s1. Just so you know, this could also be written as second energy level, s orbital 2 p orbital 6. So 2s2, 2p6 is really a little redundant. You could also write down 2s2, p6 because they're connected, meaning it's still in the second energy level. Okay, we're in the next one now. The next one is magnesium. Magnesium has 12 electrons. Let's place them. On the first energy level, the s orbital, it will hold two electrons. Filled up. Awesome. On the second energy now, second energy level, in the s orbital, this will also hold two electrons it is filled up. The next place to put it is going to be the p orbital on the second energy level. It can hold six electrons. I'm simply drawing an arrow through it. They're filled up. Awesome. The next place to put electrons now is the third energy level. Third energy level, the s orbital will hold two electrons. And if I check this out, two plus two, all right, this is four. Four plus six is ten. Ten plus two is my twelve. And I've now found a location of my 12 electrons in magnesium. Okay guys, we're gonna jump ahead now to phosphorus. Phosphorus is over here. All right, let's identify phosphorus, it's right here. It has 15 protons and 15 electrons. The outer shell electrons will be located in the p orbitals here. And now let's find a home for those 15 electrons. So in the first energy level, the s orbital will hold two. Done. The second energy level, the s orbital is going to hold 2. On the second energy level in the p orbitals, it can hold 6. So I'm going to write that as 2s2, 2p6. So right now, I have placed 8, 10 electrons. I still have 5 more to place. Let's place them. On the third energy level, the s orbital can hold 2. It is filled up. And now, finally, we're in the P's. We've jumped ahead of phosphorus, and we're one, two, three deep into phosphorus. So three deep into the P's. Boom. So electron configuration of phosphorus is a 1s2, 2s2, P6, 3s2, 
p3. We found the home of the 15 electrons in phosphorus. The next element we're going to attempt to uh, try to solve here is argon. Argon is located over here. It's element number 18. And it has 18 electrons, so therefore 18 protons. And we're going to try to find the location of those electrons in the electron cloud. So let's get a place in 18 electrons. First energy level, s orbital, can hold two electrons. It's filled up, 1s2. The second energy level, the s orbital, once again, can hold one, two electrons. The p orbital can hold six electrons. 2s2, p6. All right, third energy level, because the second energy level is filled now, s orbital can hold two electrons, as usual. 3s2, and lastly, let's go now all the way down to argon. Boom. p6. So the 18 electrons are all placed. Where are they? Two are on the first energy level in the s orbital. We have another two in the second energy level of the s orbital. Then we have the p orbital on the second energy level. We can hold six. On the third energy level in the s orbital, there are two electrons. And lastly, in the third energy level, the p orbital can hold six electrons. So it's a 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, p6. The third energy level is done. And we're going to end our video there. A nice, short, quick uh, jump into our third energy level. Future videos are going to hold the fourth energy level as well, okay? So take care, guys. Hope this was helpful.